Let's take a look at something that looks like it's very similar to what we've done before with Avogadro's number, but it's actually a little bit different. So this problem asks, how many oxygen atoms would there be in 5.21 moles of calcium sulfate? Well, there's a little bit of a problem here with this, the way this problem is asking. Because if we're just using Avogadro's number, we are only going to be able to find the number of molecules of calcium sulfate, because we are talking about moles of the whole molecule. So we're going to need two different things to get between moles of a compound and the number of atoms in that compound. One thing that we are going to need is our Avogadro's number. So we know that one mole of calcium sulfate, sorry for being a little messy, is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of calcium sulfate. So we know that relationship, but we need to get to atoms. Now, we also know that for each molecule, so for one molecule of calcium sulfate, we can look at the formula and figure out how many oxygen atoms are in that formula. There's one calcium, we have one sulfur, and we have four oxygens. So for every one molecule of calcium sulfate, I have four atoms of oxygen. These two different equivalences are going to be enough to help us to answer this problem. So I'm going to start with my 5.21 moles of calcium sulfate, and I'm going to be multiplying by the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of calcium sulfate for every one mole. So remember this is over one. Unfortunately, this is on two lines because it's very long. So our moles of calcium sulfate are going to cancel out. The, that gets us into molecules of calcium sulfate. If I multiply by the four atoms of oxygen for every one molecule of calcium sulfate, the molecules of calcium sulfate let, cancel out and I'm left with atoms of oxygen. At this point, all I need to do is to plug these numbers into the calculator and determine what the final answer would be.